What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more One Piece. Today we are doing episodes 315 to 321. We do have a few fillers in there. That's why the episode count looks so high. But before we get into anything, we do have a question over here on the Discord. If you guys don't know, I have a QA section. You guys can ask me anything, and I'll try to answer it before I do the next episode. Um, this one comes from Kevin, avid question asker, who asks, Usopp was invited to go back to the Giants with the Giants to Elbaf. Do you think he'll accept their offer? Why or why not? I think it's a great question. I think he would love to accept their offer, especially because he has the closest relationship to all the Giants, Dory, Bragi, Oimo, and Kashi, except for Saul. That's my girl, Robin. But Usopp, at the end of the day, is a straw hat. He's not right now, but he will be back. So I don't think he's going to just because he's a brave warrior who's going to make see all kinds of stories on the sea and he's essential like i know sometimes he doesn't feel that way because of how weak he is compared to our main but i think soga king the sniper king proved how essential he was not only in the fight with his sniperism saving robin motivating luffy to get back up like there's a huge aspect of Usopp that is pivotal to the straw hats that we cannot have this crew without him so i don't think he's going to great question even though I would love to see Elbaf one day. Oh my God, you have no idea. Hmm, great question, Kevin. Don't forget to check out that Patreon if you guys want the full uncut versions of these reactions as well as early access. Uh, check out the social medias. We are live streaming this right now all on TikTok, Twitch, Instagram, all the all the above, all of that for Darius. Much appreciated. I'm not gonna waste any more time. Let's get right into One Piece, episode 315. All right, here we go. This is episode 315. Let's do it. <laughs> It does bring back memories. Luffy did save Kobe from Alvita. She went to the pool? With... <laughs> you see Sanji's heart? <laughs> Do they have a marine way to get into the Grand Line? I mean, better than Reverse Mountain, that shit is crazy. I do you remember that? Nami's listening in. He's just trying to get some navigational information. So to them, they are just to see themselves because they give off the same kind of energy. That's kind of smart. Dr. Vegapunk. Interesting. I've never heard that name. Ooh, give me more devil fruit information, please. Oh, that would make sense for like Mr. Four and Funk Freed, you know? See, now I need to meet Dr. Vegapunk. I just love seeing Kobe again, man. He is such an icon. I love his new design. He's grown up. I mean, we saw him shave last episode. You know Kobe's gotten pretty strong. I respect it. Like, legitimately. They were about to get kicked out of uh, the Marine Academy. I can't wait to go see headquarters. Kobe's one of the more grateful characters of One Piece, so I always like him. Now she stopped listening because there's no more information. It's more on a personal basis. Nami's, Nami's a good person. I'll never get used to seeing... <laughs> Literally, I'll never get used to Kokoro looking like that. I mean, she saved our lives on multiple occasions, so shout out Kokoro, but girly, girly, Tom is a lucky man, I'll say that. Yeah. 
There's a professional divide between you guys. Ooh, I got goosebumps. I've heard that before. The new world. So that's where our next goal is. I remember the first 50 episodes, East Blue was all about getting here. 250 episodes later, now we're going to the new world? Okay, next time I see you, I'll capture you. Bro, imagine the day Kobe becomes an admiral. I respect your ambition, bro. Nah, live life to the fullest, man. I always love the relationship, man. This is literally one of the OGs, man. There's only three admirals we know about. Aokiji, Kainu. I don't know why I'm blanking on the last one. Is it Kizaku? Is that his name? Something like that. Kizaru. Certain aspects of people never change, you know what I'm saying? Legend, man. You a legend, Kobe. He's had that resolve since we've known him, but now it's just even more cemented, more steeled. Like, my man will become an admiral. I love how Meppo's kukri's too, the double. Like, that's so, so clean. That's Luffy's specialty, little do you know. Coming from Luffy, that actually means a lot. I love that. God damn, I love them. I love the relationship. Theoretically, we were just saving our friend. We didn't cause any of that damage. Oh, that's crazy. Luffy's getting the blame for that with the rest of the Straw Hats? Best way to make change is from the inside. Imagine how different the government would be if Kobe was one of the higher ups making decisions, you know? <laughs> Garb's listening in. Why is he upside down in the, like, the scouter's tower? Bogard's like, oh, I'm embarrassed by this guy. The employee pool at Water 7 looks incredible. What up, Frankie fam? <laughs> hey, man, having a barbecue with, like, friends, family, and friends of friends is always a great time. Sodom and Gomorrah want some food? Get some barbecue, we got plenty. Oimokashi, get some barbecue, we got plenty. Even though you guys could eat so much. Galley Law. Man, I love Polly's new jacket. Iceberg, get some barbecue. <laughs> Shout out Mozu, Kiwi, Frankie. Get some barbecue. Oh, they're having a diving competition. <laughs> hey. Lulu, la la lu. I always love their post art parties. Look at this. This is incredible. Look at the amount of friends we have here. Lu, la la lu. After all the darkness, sadness, and destruction we had, Water 7 was easily one of the darkest arcs. This just feels great. Especially Robin looking at this and just loving the life, you know? Oh, wait. Is that... Is he here? Oh my god, my man Kuzan! 
前一人なら CP9 から逃げ出せたはずだできなかった Love how he's genuinely intrigued. He's been intrigued by her character development over the past 20 years since he let her escape. The fact that he had to do that to a close friend of his, man. Aokiji is becoming one of my more gray area characters. I really enjoy him. I have no tree to call home like the tree on Ohara. Okay, that's why he did what he did on Long Ring Longland. I love how this is shot right now. Like there's no wall in between them. I love the sunset. And I love that he's calling it a tree to call home, man, because the last tree was her home. He's such a great area character, and I love that. He can live strongly. Ohara still lives on in you. That was the last thing I was expecting. And just like that, he's gone. God damn, that came out of nowhere. And just like his normal way, he's riding that bike out of here. It's so such a quirky little thing of him. He always rides his bike everywhere. It's come. It's crazy how full circle this has become from first meeting Robin, her attitude then, seeing Aokiji for the first time, how they connected, seeing Saul, the flashback, and all of it being, you know, fully circled together. I hope I can see Saul again one day. With the music playing in the background, come on. <laughs> you wanna be my friends? <laughs> this seemed like the official post arc happy episode, and I loved it. I loved it. All right, this is the next episode, episode 316. It's like a ghost town everyone's there oh are these the are these the yeah the train guys who they helped us find luffy and son or luffy and zoro and stuff like that they were late to the party oh i feel bad especially because how much they like Polly too <laughs> come on guys get back up it's okay I remember, okay, when they thought Holly was getting his heart broken by Nami at the station. You guys are so OD. A congratulatory speech. He already has one ready. You guys are too much, I tell you. Too much. Bro, he's still singing the same song. Shout out, Soga King. Ow! Ow! We got mermaids. We got cyborgs. We got food. We got giants. Come on. This is, a, this is all of Water 7 attending this get-together. From Water 7 hating us to all being so excited to party with us. Sandy showing off his fucking cooking skills. Not entirely sure how that worked, but he's the, one of the best chefs for a reason. I love that. I love that. So we partied all night long. The sun is rising. Five Elder Stars, five... Oh, anytime I see the five elders, I'm always glued to the screen. The new world? Whitebeard Shanks? I know they've been hyping that up, them talking to each other, like, for a while. Shanks sent his envoy who said, hey, Shanks want to come talk to me? Bring his ass over here. Is this the meeting? Oh, this is the meeting. We know Whitebeard has like IVs and he's constantly drinking with two personal hot nurses with him. Literally what I'm saying. 
酒持ってきたんだろうな Correct me if I'm wrong, chat, but oh, I love Whitebeard's ship. The head is like a white whale. Wasn't Ace and Blackbeard? Ace is still on Whitebeard's crew, and Blackbeard killed one of their crew. That's why Ace is looking for him. It's Whitebeard's crew, though, that they were both under, right? Unless you want to get knocked out. Yes, yes, okay. Gets me so excited. Is this why I said greenhorns? If you want, like, why are they getting knocked out? Those who lack the metal can't even stay conscious in front of that man? That's what Shanks be doing? He's just knocking people out with his manliness? Oh, hockey? Did they just say hockey? My first time hearing hockey in the show? Throwing his hockey around. I've heard that term so many, like literally thousands of times to the point I, I still don't know what it is. What is hockey? Marco. Ah, he brought you some liquor. Come on, man. Oh, I just love him talking. In 22 years, Roger, Garp, Sengoku. I had no idea Shanks was an apprentice on Gold Roger's ship. That's why they respect each other, but there's still beef. I knew he was with Buggy back in the day, but I had no idea that was on Gold Roger's ship. Look at fucking Buggy, man. Look at the straw hat on Shanks, man. I love this. You and Hawkeye used to duel like legends. Mihawk. Ooh. Man, I want to I want to know who gave him that scar. Yeah, he did that for Luffy. See? I'm so curious. I'm so curious. What was that scar from? It was one of your men? Black motherfucking beard. I had no idea. I don't want to miss anything they're saying. But, because wasn't Ace a division leader? And he just said Marco is one of the... Are these the, like, the four division leaders under Whitebeard? You got big guy, looks incredibly strong. Marco, who just the way he carries himself with a little swagger, we can, and he didn't get disrupted by uh, Shanks' hockey, so we know he's strong. We know Ace is strong. Oh, I'm curious about all these guys. I'm curious about all these guys. He kept his true self hidden. He didn't want to make a name for himself. Love that shot, swirling around the alcohol. As the gray clouds come in. I did not know this meeting would be about Blackbeard. Please stop Ace. If Shanks is saying this wholeheartedly and this seriously, like it has to be so deep. They are all my sons, no matter how fool I kind of like that. That's a good point. I get completely what Shanks is saying, but I also like Whitebeard's response a lot. The pirate fam, they're literally a family, you know? Oh. Oh my lord, the size of... I don't even... What is that? A, I don't think it's a spear. I don't even know the name of his weapon. As thunder clouds just roll in. Shit's getting real. The sky has been split. Like, what the hell is going on? A lance? A bisento? 
We're gonna blame everything on Luffy and the Straw Hats, obviously. You guys played a pivotal part, but of, co of course, you know. I knew it. Wait, you guys aren't in there at all. Don't worry, you guys are good. Yeah. That's a, a fair thing to be glad about. He is. I'm right there with you, Robin. I like that. I like that ending. Even burning down the island looks like, yeah, that's what I'm excited about. New bounties. Hopefully, Chopper, you were a maniac. I mean, technically, it's a bad thing to get increased bounties, but it's also kind of a flex. You know, it's kind of swaggy, so I get what Sanji's saying. Oh, Yoko Zuna's helping out too. I love that. The two greatest shipbuilders that we know of are going to help build our next ship. I love that. Holly, too? Oh, and Tile Stone and Lulu? Shout out to Golly Law. Come on, we're all helping build this ship. Is that Frankie crying? You guys are all real ones. Oh, I love how emotional Frankie they and Mozu and Kiwi they be getting. Got the best ship rights that we can think of right here building, you know. Oh, yes, this is his first time hearing about that because he was sleeping. She's like, where's the rest of the money? <laughs> it is a strange dance. Nami, I don't think it's in there. They had, what, 100 million at one point? Because Frankie took the other 200 million for the wood? I mean, a party that size is expensive as hell. She's going to beat your ass, Luffy. <laughs> I love how crazy she gets. It what? I mean, that money could have gone to good use, but I think a party of that caliber with how many memories we I think it was worth it. I did say she would beat your ass, though. You are getting one of the world's strongest ships for only 200 million, you know? Who knows what she said? She probably said all kinds of curse words. Bro, Nami is hilarious. Nami's Loki, one of the funniest characters in One Piece. Actually, that's the one thing about the Straw Hats. They're all so funny in their own right. Like Chopper has his moments, Luffy, Sanji, Zoro, Usopp. Usopp's probably the funniest. Damn, that's where that episode ended. That was a hype-ass episode, I won't lie. Alright guys, this is episode 320. We ended up skipping three fillers. He's over here... <laughs> Role playing what would happen. Usopp, we do want you back in the gang. Don't worry about that one. Who knows what the hell that idiot is doing? Oh, they are making steady progress on this ship. I love how even one of the best ship rides we know, Tilestone, Polly, and Lulu, can even admire how even better Iceberg and uh, Frankie are. I miss those Frankie battleships, man. Even though they were the downfall of Tom. Ah, I love that full circleness, that callback. That it really does play out. Because we're going to be using a battleship. Ooh, the new world. There's been so many things announced these past episodes. New world. Aki, or em emperors. I know Kokoro, right? Brings back memories. I love that. He might have a different body, 
robotic. He might be known as Frankie instead of Cuddy Flam, but he's the same man. He's the same man who's honest and does stuff resolutely. Yokozuna was watching all heartbroken, man. That's so sad. Hmm. To think how Spandam got his comeuppance, man. How much shit's changed since this, you know? Even uncharted ways at the end of the end of the earth. I always respect Frankie. Oh, did we finally get to see the aftermath? He looks beat up to all hell. He literally looks like he's about to die. This is a ghost ship? What the hell? What in the... What in the Pirates of the Caribbean? Scrap wood, scrap junk, all that. Where he grew up, you know? Baka. I love how Usopp has to, it's like when you're going to an interview or something and you have to like you're going on a date you have to like you know word it to yourself this is pattern he's coming up with so many responses in order of what Luffy says that's so funny I love you Usopp man we miss you come on back you're a straw hat I wonder if Luffy or Chopper will ever know Usopp is Sogu King Hey, man, you're a great actor. Come on, Usopp. <laughs> he just closes the blinds. That's so funny. Bro, Usopp. Oh, no. Oh, my man, no. I don't think just come on just walk up to him he's gonna have like a hundred patterns ready that's so funny hey he's gonna be super with the cola he needs a refill her punishment completed Super Frankie. We know. You're gonna be. Come on, you're coming with us, buddy. Come on, Frankie. He technically did. He wanted to be the next Tom. He wanted to build a ship on Tom's level. Mm, he says that. What's going to convince him to come? Pause. They're eating glizzies too? Pause. Two are the very definition of <laughs> inexhaustible. They're more different when it comes to shipwriting, you know? Another party, I'm down. I cannot wait to see what this ship looks like fully completed. I hope Bellamere's tangerine trees are still there, you know? Crazy. I remember that like it was literally yesterday. Zombi can tell. This is the most determined he's ever seen Frankie. That resolve is going to get you, get him far, you know? They've worked literally through the night. Everyone's sleeping. Like they said, they're the definition of inexhaustible. They're still working all night tirelessly. Even Polly and Lulu Tilestone are knocked out. <laughs> I love... I 
Since we first been here, I've always loved the look and design of Water 7. Such a beautiful city. Aqua Laguna is a little scary, but the log pose is done. Tell us the next island. Where are we going? I know the next saga is called Thriller Bark. The, on a sea bed? Are we going to Fishman Island? There's no way. Are we going to see the legendary Jinbei they've hyped up since episode like 20? Are we going to see Arlong again? Are we going to see more people like Tom, more people like Kokoro? Yeah, of course you would with Arlong and all that. Yeah, there's got to be nice fish, man, you know? Sanji is hilarious. Yeah, when you think of mermaids, now you think of Kokoro. Come on. We're actually going to Fishman Island? Yeah, all the devil fruit users can't swim, you know. The Devil's Triangle, also known as the Florian Triangle, like the Bermuda Triangle. A mm. hundred ships every year? That's insane numbers. Oh, hell no. I'm good. We might stay here on Water 7. Let's live here. King of the Pirates will live here. It's a dark sea with a deep fog, so be careful. I love how she's giving it like it's a horror story. Where lots of disasters happen. That's a good point, Stardust. We do need the One Piece. Fuck. I guess we have to leave. Okay, now you you mentioned treasure ships. Nami's down. I'm still with Chopper. <laughs> you do need a new sword. I guess everyone has some sort of investment in this, except Chopper. Is it done? Okay. They don't look too happy. Yeah, they look frantic. Is it going to be the new bounties? Oh. No, we do not. It is the new bounties. Let me see it. Oh, yeah. Please show me. Please show me. All seven of you now have not more. No more just Robin, Luffy, and Zoro. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Damn. Oh, it's going to show us individually. 300 million. That's insane. 120 million for my man Zoro. <laughs> 16 million for Nami. I mean, she took out Khalid. That's a nice picture. 50? You got a you got a bounty at least. I mean, it's something, Chopper. Still 80 million. It's gone up a million. Went from 79 to 80. Look at that picture of Sanji. <laughs> Blackfoot Sanji failed to obtain a picture. 77 million. 77 million is kind of crazy, but what is that picture? That's so funny. 300 million for Luffy is insane. Frankie's is 44 million. He was he was he did so much to help us out. You know what that means? He's got to come with us. That's a good point. Look at Sony still depressed. That is a funny ass picture. So we got together and discussed it. What was your old. We're taking him? He's a pirate's son to start with. Wasn't he? Yeah, he was like a pirate's son who was just abandoned, right? Something like that. Oh, that's where it ends. God damn it. All right, this is the final episode of the session. This is 321. We're not going to see him off. It'd be too hard, too emotional. I get that. 
tell him that we wish him the best damn man if this truly is the last time you guys see frankie zombie and the frankie fam you guys were fucking icons thank you so much for your work and your help we would not have done any lobby without you legit they're all like either super happy or depressed look at chopper and sanji and nami there's no picture so they drew <laughs> yeah you do have an insanely high first bounty That's so funny. I want to file a complaint about my 50 berry bounty. I'm sure your berry, your bounty will increase, Chopper. Oh, I love you, buddy. Let's go see our new ship. Seriously. Literally one of the most pivotal people in this arc, Chimney and Gombe. And just like Kobe, I'm sure we'll see you, Kokoro, and Gombe again in the future, Chimney. Don't worry, girly. Anytime we go to the headquarters, I'm always intrigued. Sandy's picture is hilarious. I love how his nickname is Blackfoot, like it's Redfoot Zeph, you know? If that's the reason... There's no way. They actually did have a picture, but they just fucking had the lens cover on, bro. Such dumbasses. Oh, where'd he go? Okay. My eyes opened wide. It can sail any kind of sea. You know Luffy's soup? I'm soup. Oh, oh, the new tower with the trees. King of Animals ship. Oh, it looks incredible. Literally. King of Animals ship. It literally looks amazing. Why is this big as the Mary? Mane of a lion. Ooh, it does look like a lion's mane now that you mention that. It has a deck with a lawn? Bro, the space, it's so spacious. So much, so much room for activities, you know? He doesn't want to see us again? I've decided. Once Luffy's decided you're a straw hat, there's no turning back. It's the opposite. Oh. That's why he went and hid. That's hilarious. We're going to have to forcibly take him. Do whatever it takes. Take him by force. Oh, yeah. To free him from his duty bound responsibility. Yeah, we're going to kidnap him. <laughs> They're coming down on their own. Oh. This is how it be. He has dedicated himself to staying here with you guys. Even if they didn't do that, he would still have done that. Come on. Wow, that's so nice. You looked right at home. Oh, that's what Zombie was thinking in that moment, man. Zombie is telling him how it is. I respect it, man. They some they some real fam, low key, Frankie fam. They're gonna. I got what the hell? 
What the hell? We're gonna have him be naked? I wonder if it's a sight. I wonder if it's robotic down there. Pause. You gotta forcibly chase them to not be naked, bro. You better be a water seven sex offender. What the hell? This is like the uh, Avengers Endgame version of keeping the gauntlet away from Thanos, except it's Frankie Speedo. What the hell? Hitting you with the straight nuts on your back attack. Oh, Frankie's ass. What the hell? He's literally blowing. I mean, if someone took my Speedo, I'd be causing havoc <laughs> getting it back too. The perv. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, bro. You're gonna now be known as the Water Seven Pervert, bro. That man is buck naked. Yup. Ding dong. <laughs> what the hell is going on? This is the last way I would expect us to forcibly take Frankie to the Straw Hats. Hey, he cut you off with his ding dong. You're under arrest. He's going to be the sex offender of Water 7. I'm telling you, I cannot wait to see RTTV's reaction to this, bro. Rob already hates Frankie's design with the Speedo. They're just going to it's going to be so funny. That's going to be hilarious. You must carry it on. The rest is up to you. His legs are giving out. Is that Luffy? They're gonna help? <laughs> yeah. Has to, he's just gonna bring it to the ship. Or him to come in the ship. Ugiwara! Package receipt confirmed. <laughs> Gotta have your little side conversation while we're running and you're naked. Yeah, now you're the perv of the city. Now you have to leave, Frankie. Everything we requested from, like, the soldier dock system? Yeah, you gotta come show us. Bro, I love that aspect and I love how he's explaining how hyped he is about this ship while they're running. This is what, you know, he's so proud he built this. This is literally his dream. But come on, Frankie, you gotta come with us. That is so funny. Chopper's, oh, Chopper, don't put that in your mouth. I get it, you need to, but god damn it, Chopper. <laughs> Launch him in a cannon. Chopper, get that thing out your mouth. He's launching too. Jesus. This is by far the craziest way a straw hat has joined the crew to this date. Nami's was just running past everyone stealing their wallet. Robin. Bro, what? <laughs> Even Chimney. Yeah, get Corcoro. Take Chimney away from here. We don't want to see his dingling. That's what I would be saying. It's like a flag. It's like his. It's, it's Frankie's Jolly Roger. No one's jolly to see his Roger, though, if you know what I'm saying. That ship does look incredible. It's an ultimatum. Either join the Straw Hats, which you already want to do, or stay naked the rest of your life. God damn it, man. God.
Damn it, man. All right, those were some episodes after the insane hypeness that was Kobe, Helmepo, and Garp and the dragon reveal. Those were some of the happiest, funnest times in One Piece. Like we've had the party, which I'm so glad everyone came. It really was full circle. Everyone who was involved, everyone who helped out, even the two station guards at the coming over for uh, Polly's weddings. Like it's so funny. I love every aspect of that. The new bounties, seeing Shanks meet up with Whitebeard, hype up Blackbeard for me. Talk about hockey. Like there's so many aspects that I've been waiting for One Piece that we're finally getting into and it feels so good. I, can't, I love seeing Shanks. Whitebeard is amazing. I love his aspect of everybody aboard his ship is his son and you kill that's the golden rule, you know, in a, in a land without order, there has to be some sort of order. I love that. I love that. But the way we got Frankie on, on board was insane. I guess I got to give a shout out to Frankie fam for just swiping that off him. They pantsed him to death and he is now known as the perv of water seven. So, but we are officially going to have our new ship, right? I am super excited. The new ship itself looks incredible. Like the king of animals ship with the lion's mane up front with the aquarium, with the brand new kitchen, with the tangent, with the lawn. Like, I'm like, it's a, there's a reason why it's Frankie's dream. Incredible ship. Cause like, it holds up. It definitely holds up. Absolutely fantastic episodes. Everyone's hyping up the next sesh and then we get into some filler and then we're right into Thriller Bark and we're making our way past. And like I said, hopefully I can catch up on editing because if I can, the amount of content I'm going to be posting for you guys is going to be insane. I am so excited. These episodes were so incredible. Hopefully you guys enjoyed them. If you did, please a like, leave a like on this video. Let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section. Check out the Patreon for the full uncut versions of these episodes. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Um, don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.